the United States currency, represented by the US dollar, holds a significant place in the global economic landscape. For most of its history, the US dollar was tethered to the gold standard, but that all changed in the 20th century. In this extensive article, we will explore the transition from a gold-backed currency to a fiat currency, the consequences of this shift, and its implications for the United States and the world. The Gold Standard Era At the heart of the gold standard lay the promise of convertibility. For much of the 19th and early 20th centuries, the US dollar was backed by a specific amount of gold, with the US government maintaining a reserve of gold to support this promise. The gold standard brought stability to international finance by fixing exchange rates and constraining inflation. It provided a common measure of value, simplifying international trade and investment. The end of the gold standard, the gold standard's rigidity began to show cracks during the economic challenges of the Great Depression. As countries printed more money to stimulate their economies, the limited amount of gold in reserve became insufficient to support the increasing money supply. Additionally, the devastation of World War I had severely disrupted the global financial order. By the mid-20th century, the gold standard's limitations had become evident. In 1971, President Richard Nixon announced a radical change, ending the convertibility of the U.S. dollar into gold. This monumental shift, known as the Nixon shock, severed the U.S. dollar's last remaining ties to the gold standard. It was a pivotal moment in the history of global finance, with far-reaching consequences. The fiat currency system. In the wake of the Nixon shock, the United States embraced a fiat currency system. In a fiat system, the value of a currency, in this case, the US dollar, is not backed by a physical commodity, but is derived from the trust and confidence of the people who use it. This shift marked a departure from the traditional gold standard, and the US dollar's value became dependent on the US government's ability to manage its money supply effectively. The role of the US Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve, often referred to as the Fed, plays a crucial role in managing the US currency within the fiat system. The Fed has the authority to influence the money supply by adjusting interest rates and engaging in open market operations. This control allows the government to respond to economic challenges and maintain price stability. The US dollar is the world's primary reserve currency. Despite the move away from the gold standard, the US dollar continues to hold a position of dominance in the global financial system. It is the world's primary reserve currency, widely used in international trade, finance, and foreign exchange reserves held by central banks. This status is due to several key factors. The United States' economic strength and stability. The depth and liquidity of U.S. financial markets. The trust in the U.S. government's ability to meet its financial obligations. Global implications. The U.S. dollar's significance as the world's primary reserve currency has far-reaching implications. It allows the United States to influence global financial markets and international transactions. Economic and fiscal policies set by the U.S. government have a profound impact worldwide given the global dependency on the dollar. The dollar's role as the world's primary reserve currency brings both economic benefits and responsibilities. It simplifies international trade and finance as many commodities are priced and traded in US dollars. However, it also means that the United States must maintain a level of economic stability and responsibility commensurate with its role. Contemporary challenges and alternatives. In recent years, there has been increasing debate about the potential risks and challenges associated with the US dollar's dominance. Over-reliance on the dollar can expose countries to economic vulnerabilities if the dollar's value fluctuates significantly. Some have argued that there is a need for alternatives to the dollar as a global reserve currency. One of the potential alternatives is the International Monetary Fund's Special Drawing Rights, SDRs, a basket of several major currencies. SDRs are designed to supplement the official reserves of member countries. Additionally, the rise of digital currencies like Bitcoin and central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, has added complexity to the global currency landscape. Conclusion The United States currency's evolution from a gold-backed standard to a fiat system represents a significant transformation in the world of finance. While the gold standard provided stability, the limitations of this system and the changing economic landscape led to its abandonment. Today, the US dollar's status as the world's primary reserve currency highlights the United States' economic strength and global influence. The transition from the gold standard to a fiat currency reflects the dynamism and adaptability of the global financial system. The implications of this shift continue to be a subject of debate and study. As the international community explores alternatives and seeks to reduce dependency on the US dollar, the global currency landscape remains in a state of flux, and the future of international finance is an ongoing topic of discussion.